Now that I have the support login set up, the next admin task that I want to do before I start getting into configuration is I just want to quickly talk about sandbox accounts. Now, I don't have a sandbox account in my Joint Curve account, but you very might, might well have a sandbox account, right? Now, there is a NetSuite sandbox frequently asked questions here, answer ID 65807 in NetSuite, Suite Answers. All right. Now, you will know you're in Sandbox when you see this orange Sandbox word at the top of your screen. Now, that's really, really important because when you really start getting into NetSuite and you are working in production one moment and working on Sandbox the next moment, it's reasonably easy to do the wrong thing in the wrong account. So over the years, I've made that mistake a couple of times, but I now know in the back of my mind, I've got to constantly see that orange sandbox there at the top of my screen, right? Very important. Um, you will notice there's a whole bunch of questions they ask here. You know it's sandbox because there's an SDSB, right? Um, when you look at all your roles, you'll see also it says account type. There's a range of different types. There's production, there's sandbox, there's development, there's release preview. So there's a range of different account types, right? Um, you will get, as a general rule, 12 refreshes per year, right? Now, a refresh means at that spe specific moment in time where you click the refresh button, Everything in your production account, exactly as it is, will be copied to your sandbox. Everything that was in your sandbox until that moment is now gone. And at that moment in time, your production and your sandbox accounts are exact mirror image of each other. Now, from that moment on forward, they start moving apart further and further because in your production, Production people are doing transactions and updates and all sorts of different things and your sandbox people are testing. All right. So minute by minute by minute, these two accounts are moving further away from each other. So you've got to constantly keep your eye on the ball and say, when am I going to do my next refresh? How many refreshes do I have left? What are my plans? So sandbox is really, really important. I don't have one, so I can't show you one at the moment. Um, but very important to think about that and decide for yourself, where are you going to implement? Are you initially going to do your implementation in production? Or are you going to do your implementation in Sandbox? If you're going to do your implementation in Sandbox, your initial one, it means you're going to have to redo everything that you did in Sandbox in production. Now, that is also one of the reasons why I keep a setup log, right? So that I know exactly what I did and I can quite easily go and do that again in production because I have a log. Trust me, when you don't have a log of details, you will struggle very much to set that up exactly as you did the first time around. I will, in the future, come back to sandboxes because they're so important. But for the moment, I'm going to stand back.